Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, we are going to see how to create LoRa for Flux and that too for free. So let's get started. Go to tensor.art. I drop a link in the description. While signing up using my link, you will get 50 credits. Tensor Alt also give daily 50 credits so it will be 100 credits so using these 100 credits we can easily create lora for free after signing up using my link in the home page you need to click on online training and this training window opens up here you need to select the custom model flux select the custom and click on here then select flux so you can select flux dev original see it over here you can create loras for flux dev original i'm going to select dev for this select and here you need to upload your image click on upload image these are the images i'm going to use for this lora creation this is my art style so this is a rotoscopic uh, animation art so i'm going to use these images to create one LoRa. I'm gonna select all, Control A and click on open. So it is uploading 14 images. You can see over here, right now it wants 72. While uploading images, it will be increasing. So all of my images are uploaded. So it will be asking 252 credits. Uh, let me assume you will have only 100 credits. And this video is about how to create LoRa for free. In pro version, you will get uh, daily 300 credits. The pro version plans are over here. You can get one day plan for $1. It will give 300 credits plus 100 bonus credits. And 30 day plan with uh, $10. You will get uh, additional bonus of 1000 credits with daily 300 credits. In free plan, you will get only 50 credits. And while signing up using my link, you will get another 50 credits. So you will have 100 credits. So 100 credits is enough to train one LoRa. But if you already have Tensor account, you may only have 50 credits. So to get additional credits, you need to do some steps. To get additional credits, you need to publish your post. You can publish your post two times per day. So that will be 20 credits. Then you can store any content on the site that for five times, you will get 10 credits. Post a comment for three times, you will get 15 credits. And follow your user one time and you will get five credits. So total, it will be 50 credits. So you will get another 50 credits. So total, 100 credits. And these credits are uh, accumulated credits and it will be not expired as daily credits. So we need to make the credit to 100 so for that i'm gonna remove some of my images that i don't like so i'm gonna remove this image also this image okay then i'm gonna reduce the epoch value to 5 so you can see it is uh, extremely reduced to 108 and i'm gonna change the repeat value to 25 so i like the repeat value to be in uh, 25 so right now it is in 135 so let me show you how to bring that to 100. First, we need to batch cut. So most of the images are in uh, a landscape. So I'm going to batch cut. Cutting method should be in focus cut and cut size. I'm going to use a landscape 1024 by 768. So confirm. After the batch cutting, click on auto labeling and I'm going to select this one. Confirm. So it will auto label. So you can see it will add tags for each images. So you can see next I'm going to add one uh, label before that I'm going to show you the trigger word. So trigger word means if you add LoRa in the flux model and in the prompt, we should be add this trigger word to get these kind of results. I'm going to use the trigger word PSD or style and i'm gonna click on batch add labels and to the beginning i'm gonna add this trigger word psd or style confirm and you can see in the all images in the beginning this tag is added you can see you can see and now we need to reduce the credit amount to 100 so let me show you how to do that 
in these images if you want to remove anyone you can go ahead and remove it i usually use uh, 12 to 15 images so i'm gonna go with 12 images and to reduce the credit value we need to adjust the repeat time repeat time means the a will train on particular images for this many times for example if you give 25 means it will train that image for 25 times so i'm gonna reduce that value for some of the images for example i'm gonna reduce the value for this image i don't like this uh, style that much so i'm gonna reduce the value to 10 you need to select custom and add a value likewise i'm gonna reduce this because it don't have any shadows or uh, highlights so i'm gonna reduce this to 10 as well this one may be 15 this one 10 this one i'm gonna keep it to 25 relevancy means it will use this uh, option 25 so right now it is reduced to 110 and also i'm gonna reduce the repeat time for this to 15 and uh, this to 15 let me see right now it is in 101 maybe i'm gonna reduce this to 20 okay so it is in 99 so it's okay you can also reduce the epoch value if you want if you reduce to 4 you can see how much uh, credits are reduced so i'm gonna go with 5 for this now we need to give model effect preview prompt so it should have this uh, trigger word so i'm gonna give this prompt PSD art style of a close-up animated shot of a rugged middle-aged specimen. So this is the prompt I'm going to use. Click on start training now. So it will take around one hour to train this LoRa. I already trained one LoRa using this uh, same image and using this uh, same trigger word and the same prompt. So let me show you that. So this is the one. So using the same image and uh, same prompt. So this is the result. So you can see the same kind of style is uh, in this images. So there are five different epochs. You can publish any one you like. So some images have uh, original faces also. So epoch 4 has original faces. So I'm not going to use that. You can see. And epoch 5 is looking great. Then you can download this LoRa and use it uh, locally. Or you can publish it in TensorArt. Click on publish. And I already created one uh, project. If you want to create one new project, you can click on create a project. And uh, type in your project name. And uh, select which channel. In this uh, case, I'm going to select anime and you can add tags like anime, rotoscope animation, etc. Since already I have created one, I'm going to select that, confirm. So it will be start loading. It will take some time like 5 to 30 minutes. So after that, I'm going to give the model version. I already used Epoch 2 as my model version 1. So this time I'm going to give epoch 5 so i'm gonna use e5 you can use any wordings as you like i prefer e5 so i'm gonna easily guess this is the epoch 5 then the training steps it is like uh, 100 and 1100 you can see over here 1100 next uh, training epochs this is epoch 5 so i'm gonna use epoch 5 uh, trigger word psd art style you can also add some additional words if you want so this is uh, kind of like a cartoon animated style so i'm going to use cartoon trigger word then for description you can add any description you want so i'm going to leave it blank for this so strength recommended i'm going to use 0.8 this is the universally used uh, strength for uh, loras basic model is flux a uh, negative prompt uh, you don't need a negative prompt in flux so files so it will add the details and it is automatically added the showcases from the result and for cover you need to upload one image so i'm going to click on this open a new tab download this image and for cover i'm going to use that image 
next you want to give download permission you can give i'm gonna disable the download next click on publish next you will get this edit project uh, option here you can uh, give the resource like if you using reprint you can select reprint this is original so i'm going to use original exclusive if you want uh, visible only to you you can click on visible to me only and you can also read this option and if you want to give permission you can give that as well then click on update so it will take some time usually like uh, 10 to 15 minutes so i have epoch 5 and epoch 2 two versions so epoch 2 version is i already uploaded so let me show you how the epoch 2 works click on run so i'm going to use the recommended value 0 0.8 so let me give some uh, random prompt a man in blue suit drinking coffee in coffee shop in psd art style so this is the epoch 2 version i'm using epoch 5 version is still deploying you need to wait for 10 to 15 minutes to get deployed and you can see the result this one you can see the same art style uh, this one is not looking really that art style but this one you can see clearly that art style so now epoch 5 is also deployed so click on run to see how the same result in epoch 5 use recommended tell it this epoch 2 i'm gonna run using the same seed value copy generate so it is kind of giving the same result so you can see epoch 5 is have little more depth so but kind of both are same so that's it this is how we can train lora and use it in tensor art for flux and that too for free if you have any doubts in this uh, tutorial you can definitely post your comment in the comment section i will reply to your comment so thanks for watching if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe this channel for uh, more future tutorials also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when i upload your video thanks for watching and bye